Hello, and welcome back. My name is Sandcrawler, or Yithmavi, and we're playing some more Trove. This is the quest to 20 on the Ice Age. We're level 9, so we're going to go up here and fall down. Next one. So we're going to be doing level 9 to 10 today. About jumped into that. So I started a new Let's Play on Wednesday. The second episode will be on Friday, or the day that you guys see this. It's a let's play of Fat Chicken, which Fat Chicken is this tower defense game. It's uh, I don't even really know how to explain it. I mean, it's tower defense, but it's about raising animals up using growth hormones and taking them to a slaughterhouse. So it's really a satirical game that's making a comment on meat production in the United States, but also in other countries do the same thing or similar things. The U.S. just produces so much. That way, I should say. Um... Because there's not a lot of the organic farming going on. Like, there is a lot more now, but... But yeah, so that Let's Play will start Wednesday. And the second episode will be on Friday. So let's go up in here to this. This is the new... One of the new layers in the... Frosty biome. So the other thing is I have a job interview the day that this video will go up. So I'm preparing for that. I have to do a presentation. So, yeah, I'm a little bit scatterbrained today. Because I'm thinking about what I'm going to present there. What I'm going to say and everything else that comes with the job interview. I'd really like to have this job. It would be... It's a position that I could see myself in for a long time. And not get bored. Which I would totally get bored working at a grocery store, for example. So let's go back, back up here, since we fell down. I was waiting for him to summon his uh, followers, or whatever you want to call them. His ads. What else? I've been working on a project with Sonic the Hedgehog games. I'm not entirely ready to announce it, but it's not a huge secret either. I've tweeted a little bit about it on Twitter. Um, it's going to be a let's play of all of the Sonic games, pretty much. There's a few spinoffs that I'm not going to do, but I might do them later as like a separate thing. 
I don't remember them ever following you up the jumpers before. So the Sonic Let's Play is going to be 40 some odd games? Is what it's looking like. Starting of course with Sonic 1. Even though it's debatable and if that's actually chronological order. Some people would put some of the Tails games. Well, one of the Tales games before the first Sonic game. And generally I've seen Knuckles chaotic in front of Sonic 1. But I think those games can really go anywhere because they don't really tie in or have anything to do with Sonic. Outside of being in the same universe. Let's go this way. I had to see what biomes were around. Although this biome's kind of icky to do without jumps, which we still don't have. So actually, let's see if we have anything with jumps that's worthwhile. This staff right here will give us two. I know I haven't changed my equipment in some time now. Okay, we'll go with that. So I think I'm going to play some of the spin-off games like there's... Well, some of them are I'm considering part of the game, like Sonic the Fighters. That's the first game that Amy Rose has her hammer in. So I thought that would be a pretty good one to have in the main series of Let's Plays. But some of them, like Sonic Drift, like nothing happens in Sonic Drift. It's just a kart racer game for the Game Gear. I think it was on, it was the Game Gear for sure, and I think it was on the 8-bit Master System. I get them confused. Between the Mega Drive and the Master System. So that game I might play separately or later on. I also want to play some fan games. I want to do the fan games more as like a holiday special. And I kind of have the first one in mind already. I want to play as a ROM hack, which takes a character from, say, Shadow takes Shadow and puts Shadow into Sonic the Hedgehog, the first game. So I want to play those as like a holiday special sort of thing. So the first one's coming up pretty soon, a couple of weeks away I believe. So I'm going to be recording that pretty soon here. I might even start today. I like to have a little, I like to have time to do recordings. This is one of the few series that I do week to week. Which that's only because it's 90% off the cuff.
So I don't even really think about what I'm going to say until I'm in here and recording. That's how prepared I am. But I think it works for this sort of game. I forgot we have the jumps now. Not that we have a lot of jumps. I hate it when it spawns these guys. Yep, and there he went off the edge. Nice job. It spawns fewer of them, but they're harder to kill because they run away from you a lot. Okay, we got him. I gotta see what's... Yeah, I thought I saw one over here. So the first three games in the Sonic... Let's play are gonna be uh, the first Sonic for the Sega Genesis is first, and then we're gonna go to the Sonic the Hedgehog game for the Game Gear, because it's more or less has the same story. That was smooth. It's really just like a continuation of the story in Sonic One. It has all different levels and bosses. What was hitting me there? Huh. And then after the first Sonic game, we'll go to Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on the Game Gear. Because that's the first game that introduces Tails. And what I did here with that was this, with this chronological order is a bit different than what I've seen elsewhere. I put, I put Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on the Game Gear where he meets Tails for the first time, but Tails isn't really in it. Um, I put that before Sonic CD, which is normally what people put right after Sonic the Hedgehog 1. Sonic CD introduces Amy, even though she really doesn't do anything. Um, she'll give you a hug. She'll follow you around and give you a hug. I put it there because I just felt like Amy should come after Tails. Tails should be introduced first. And so putting Sonic the Hedgehog 2 from the Game Gear second just made more sense to me. Oh, he's stuck behind the wall. There must be a space back there. Try this one. How did I not hit that one at all?
Sonic CD was an interesting game. It was the first time I had ever played it and I actually played it first. I should have waited for my all. Oh, well. It's ready now. I'm running out of mana. Because I also didn't wait for my mana to recharge. Okay, let's see what's over here. I couldn't tell if it was a... Layer or dungeon. It looked like it could have been the quad tower. Hmm. Nope. Okay, we made it. The problem with this level is, uh, or this layer, is that if I hit the glass with my icicle, it can now go all the way down and hit nothing. Since they changed it. Isn't there another one? Yeah. Oh, it's one of the low down ones. It's also danger weights. I don't even pay attention anymore to that. This is the one that I'll dig a big old hole on. Hit it already. I probably didn't need to then. So, two or three more, I think, should get us there. That dragon. So what else? I've already talked quite a bit about the Sonic thing. Minecraft is getting pretty exciting for me again. I'm to the point in my Let's Play where I'm starting to be able to build my super house which has always been the most fun for me once you get past that resource point of just having to gather of just having to gather diamonds and whatnot and iron 
to the point where you have more than you know what to do with. Okay, that's level 10. I pre-record the Minecraft single player series. So that, uh... Like, what, what's showing in the episodes right now, I did a while ago. And then I spent a whole bunch of time in that map gathering resources. So when it comes back at episode 7, 7 or 8, it will, uh, I'll have a whole bunch of more stuff. And it'll, it should be more exciting. I'm pretty excited about it. I want to run over here and find, to get, grab a cornerstone here. My house is still, or my cornerstone. So I noticed this was in the crafting, crafting grid for rune crafting. I don't know if it got hot fixed out. Let's see. Yeah. But I made one. Because I thought that might be where you deconstruct the recipes. But I never did find where you do that. So I want one of these energy regeneration rings. This one would be more useful for me. Than having physical damage. So we'll go with that. It's a gun, melee. I have a lot of health stuff. Like, I guess that's not, that wouldn't be the worst thing. The attack speed one would be pretty good. So we'll put that on, and I'll have to find a hat and a staff. Shadow staffs, I have a hard time finding. But anyways, next time we'll do level 10 to 11 or maybe to 12. We'll see. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.